Can we talk about um, Michael and Gabriel's relationship, which I just find fascinating that you know, they really seem to have a history of there and the fact that Gabriel upset when trying to kill Michael and then at the same time he wants to wage war against him. Yeah. Will we sort of delve into their history and find out like the origins where that's always been an antagonistic relationship? Yeah, and it starts in the next episode. And it goes through until the end of the first series. And um, yeah, you learn a lot more about their relationship. Uh, Michael, has, yeah, yeah, you're right. Michael is a very, very serious character, and one of the questions we got... Do you think so? I think a bit. Oh, so yeah. is, that, is Michael ever going to smile? That uh, is one of the questions we got. And based on who the character, do you think it's justified for a character to smile? Is there any moments that you think... That you um, has he not smiled once no. so far? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he doesn't have much of a sense of humour. He's got a big weight on his shoulders. I mean, he's, his whole purpose before Dominion started was just to get Alex to a place where he could, you know, take up his destiny as, as the chosen. So it, it was all pretty simple for him, and it's become once the, trans the tattoos were transferred to him, suddenly everything changed because he's tricky. He's not, you know. He's not doing as Michael wants, he's not playing to his tune, so he's, uh, it's kind of all going a little bit pear-shaped for Michael. But he's trying to save humanity, it's not, it's not, it's not a laugh a minute for him, I don't think. So what have you sort of brought from the previous roles, or just from yourself, to Michael to try and formulate that character? Yeah, well I guess a lot of it's in the script and you take what you can from that and I had discussions with Vaughan and Scott who directed Legion but um, I've always had a very well I always felt that there was a definite stillness about him and a kind of unblinking uh, quality to him and um, Is that what like attracted you to the role? Yeah, I liked how unemotive he was and how stoic he is. And, and trying to play them still? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's not that easy. Yeah. And I, he's very, very different to all the humans. And, and he's, but he's very interested in humans and he would love to be able to feel like they do. And I think that's why he's so attracted to human women because yeah. and likes to have more than one. <laughs> 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 I mean, the problem with the fact he's got a lot of stamina, because <laughs> he's an archangel. Uh, there's just, he, I think he would love just to be able to feel and emote like they do. And I think to be able to show little glimpses of that occasionally, but trying to maintain that um, very stoic and emotive um, side of him is, I guess, what I, attracted me to it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, definitely like struggling with his ability to love and all of that. So yeah. um, he definitely seems to be questioning that. How do you think that's going to progress for his character? Uh, it, it, there's a big change coming. Okay. Can you tell us anything about that? I can't tell you anything. <laughs> no, there's something. In the next episode, it starts to go into Michael's past. And, uh, oh, it's so hard without giving spoilers on it. Um, no one you just see a very different side of Michael. And that leads to Gabriel kind of cottons onto that and starts to get under Michael's skin a bit. And there's going to be some pretty explosive stuff. No, we finished about a month ago in Cape Town. So if it goes to a second series next early next year, maybe we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a lot of that too. Quick <laughs> question about the, the wings: Is that an actual contraption that you're wearing, or is all that stuff put in? It's it's all CGI. Yeah. CGI. Yeah. It's a company in Toronto called Spin VFX, and they do it all so in a really you, short space of time. How do you work to try and make it seem like you're actually you know, down or just going on? Well, it kind of changes throughout the series. Like the beginning, there was nothing, so the wings just kind of came out, and then this kind of unfurling motion starts. 
And, um, and for the actual flying, I'm just rigged up to a harness and uh, attached to cranes. And, um, Did you have to do a lot of training for that? No, I mean, you kind of need a strong core, apparently. I, you know, I worked with the stunt guys and who are amazing. And they, you know, I do them all myself, but they show me how to do it. And it's, it's the part I enjoy the most. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And there's one point in the quarry where I'm kind of hanging like that from a train about 50 meters in the air. It's, it's quite exhilarating. I enjoy that. So has there been a favourite scene or line that you've shot this season? That's just yeah, I like the I love my I love the scenes with Chris. I love any, anything I get to do with Alex. I really enjoy that. I think it's just a really interesting dynamic between the two, and he's really good. So I love working with him. Uh, and I love the stuff in the highway when he says um, calling shotgun. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorites. Is there, like that. <laughs> is there any character that, because most of your scenes are with Chris, is there any other actor or character that you want to have a scene with that you are looking forward to maybe for the next part? Um, I think I've had scenes with everybody. I think I've had scenes with everyone. Maybe you haven't, there's some to come in the next few episodes, but there are other characters that would be interesting if they came in to the show. I mean, perhaps like Raphael, the other archangel, or... I mean, Lucifer has been, a lot of people seem to want Lucifer to come into the show. Yeah, I can see the attraction. It sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. And anyone who can kind of uh, change Michael's perspective. Yeah. I can't say too much. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. So it's been picked up for a second season. It hasn't yet. Yeah. Yeah. What was it, like? It hasn't yet. No, no, no. Oh, okay. What if it does? Are you gonna be really excited to like kind of stick with it for another season? Really? Yeah. We all wanted to go for a second season. Just, I mean, the ratings have been very good, so you know, steadily, you know, progressing in time. So yeah, no, we'd love to. We'd be back in Cape Town, and uh, we all get on really well. So. Love if there is a season two, where do you want Michael's character to go? Like, in your head, what's the next step? Well, I know what happens at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> so, I kind of would like, I can't say what I want to happen. Uh, I'm giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like him to have more, um, more with Alex, more stuff with Alex. Perhaps visiting other places, other cities that have been fortressed. And, yeah, you know, like Helena and, and Delphi. And, I think this, perhaps still for doing that. Helena, right? There's only women in the There's only women, yeah. So Michael, no, Michael would love it, right? <laughs> 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 it's definitely on his radar. <laughs>